It's another edition of African Complementary and Alternative Medicine, African. I am Uluwa Shewe On today's edition of African, we'll be looking into the efficacy of African black soap, known as black soap or Oshedudu. This soap originates from the West African part of Africa and also it is peculiar to the origin of the Yoruba people. When we talk about black soap, most of the times we see it being hawked by sellers and it is being used for different reasons and different purposes. Today to look into what African black soap really stands for and how it can actually be explored, I have with me a lecturer from the Institute of African Studies, University of Ibadan, Dr. Obafemi Jegede. I welcome you to the program today. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Thank you so much. Where are we today? There is a particular story that originates that we can actually say uh, is peculiar to this particular village or uh, town or city, uh, as uh, people here we call it, that is peculiar to it. What is the name of this particular location? This place is called Ada Oloshe. Ada Oloshe. So what do they do here, basically? What is their basic mm. occupation? Just like the name. If you, you, you call it Ada, it's not yet complete. You have, you have to put the word Oloshe in it. So, so you now call it Ada Oloshe. And the word Oloshe is closely connected with, with not just their way of life, it is with their origin. I would say with their destiny. It is a total way of life here. How, how do you mean that it is connected with their destiny? Does that mean that uh, it is, it is, you don't do a shed by choice. You do it by, by connection to an heritage. Okay. So it is a, it is a, it's a traditional generational practice. So that is what nature has given yeah, to them. That is what, that is what destiny, that is what their story gave to them. So now when we talk about black soap, most times we find it in the cities and at a point when it seems that black soap is going to extinction, it came over again and we started rebranding it, using it from different purposes and the whole lot. You as a lecturer or let me say uh, as a researcher in the Institute of African Studies, you've done a lot of work as regards black soap. We want you to take us on that journey. Of black yeah, soap. interesting, very interesting. Uh, I, I, I want us to actually face problem of a uh, translation or interpretation. The word soap does not mean oshe. That is the first thing. And uh, I would I don't know the meaning of soap, but uh, the way people use the word soap, it is not easily not be translated to mean oshe in the real deep sense of it. The word oshe means oshe. It has come to reality. Mm. That's not the word oshe. It has it has it has it has happened the way we wanted it to happen. Mm. Oshe be. It is it is exactly how we want it. See. So oshe uh, now means a process by which a, a, a will is brought into physical reality. You know what, so, so, so what is your in your mind? What is in your, in your in your vision? So that energy that makes those vision to come into physical reality is what is called oshe. So how do you translate that to me? So oshe koshe ni tila koshe koribe koshe ewi oshe aje koshe. Very important. That at least it will be. So the word oshe it means this. It is how we want it. Oshe be. If the man, for example, says a word. What he says is exactly how it happens. But we say the word is Ashe. Ashe. So Ashe. Now we we have this uh, general belief that no, you are saying that we, are, we undermine. Yeah, no, under, no, under, 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 okay, okay. When so, you when you do what soap, so, you undermine because soap means what you use to clean or to wash. This is not what this one means. Though it is just part of it. It's not what it is. It, it it's deeper. It means far 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 more. Now, to African medicine, to the treatment of ailments, mm. sicknesses, diseases, how relevant is Oshe? Exactly. That, 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 that is what it means. That's what it means. You know, Oshe itself is uh, 
in the way it is prepared, if you look at the process of uh, production of what are, what, what are the basic ingredients? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, the basic ingredients is just the back. The, when, you, when you remove the seed of uh, cocoa okay. inside it, you, then, and you now burn it to ashes. Mm -hmm. So you now seal the ashes. You get the the, the chemical, what you call arrow, inside that ashes. But what it does for me is that like, uh, ash is a very strong chemical. So you now burn that the back of the cocoa, cocoa pot. You burn it to ashes. You now put it in a basket or something that is leaky. You pour water inside it. So the water that pours from that ashes inside the bowl is what is called when it is burned, boiled for not less than eight hours. Okay. With great with heat, intensity of heat. So if you go, if you if we have a, a big drum, when you burn it for boil it for eight hours, what is it to be named? Not be up to a pain. So that small remnant is what is called aro. Okay. And that is what that's the basic ingredient. And that thing is oil. What you call um, what you call uh, nyonko. 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 So they will now go and get it is a uh, palm kernel oil. So uh, that, 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 these are the two basic and that's the difference from a pokupa or from Absolutely the different from a pokupa. It is called nyonko, it is it is from palm kernel. Okay. These are the two basic ingredients. ingredients. But even apart from the ingredients, I think the process of producing it also has its own way of uh, impacting energy inside it. Now we say that black soap originates from the West African part of the world. Mm. Aside that, it originates from the Yoruba people. Yeah. Now, when it comes to beautification, beautification, beautification of our skin, mm. of how we get ourselves mm. to look acceptable, and with the present other soaps that we have, are we going to say that the other soaps that we have are better than Oshedudu, or Oshedudu is much more? Then why are we not using this? Why are we not uh, putting much intensity in how we apply Oshedudu to our beautification? Oshedudu is better than any other Oshedudu. In fact, in the whole world, no matter how well prepared, no matter how beautifully packaged a soap is, no soap on, on the planet Earth can be compared with our Oshedudu. It's not possible. You know, it's not just Oshedudu. I, mean, I wanted to go further than you know, I really would like to talk about about the relevance of what you do. Okay. Then, what you will now know that uh, it's a completely different thing entirely. And we can, we can, from that argument, we can come up with the real meaning of Oshet. Okay. We can be able to establish the meaning I'm giving to it. Okay. I, no soap can be better than what you do. Because it penetrates the skin directly. And the, the process of uh, producing it is such that uh, it has to move. When it is moving, real life movement, though, it will move straight into the sky. That is a, at, at that point, they call it Yamoko. Yamoko move. So when it is moving, it is going to get a share authority. It is, it, it, or she, sorry, or she is a woman. Mind you, the word or she is, 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 is feminine. So there, there, there is a spiritual. There, there, is a, there is a gender dimension to it. Okay. And so it, 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 she is a woman. Okay. So she goes up. To the, into the space to go and gather authority. Can you imagine? So she, she will go and gather authority and concentrate it into the drum inside which she's being prepared. You do get the point now. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is, it is not like the other soap. Now, that's why it's called Ashe. Ashe is authority. So, so that is a, uh, immediately gets the authority. There's now an authority for the soul to do the undoable or the impossible. So that's why we take us to the efficacy. Efficacy, Let, let's talk. You see, there's nothing that we cannot use or share for. Nothing on this planet. Uh, let us say, for example, or shelter a thing and so on. The soap you will use, if you want to buy clothes, you don't have money. You know, you get, there's a, uh, there are things you can prepare. You take your bath and you will get money. To go and get food. So, so to go and get, get clothes because it's about your intention. Go mm. share. So, anything you want, just get this soap. Maybe you add some other things to it. It will also have you call it. Or she 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 have you call it.
or should have been other things are added to this black soul. But, uh, but eventually, eventually, whatever you add to the black soap, it will come soap. Because you don't have to more share to the body. So, share, 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 share. You get the point? Yes. So, we can get those to assist. We can get all kinds of things. It will pound it. It is still Oshay. Now, we have a lot of elements that Africans do battle with. That we may, may not, we may say that they do not originate from uh, the black man, but due to our lifestyle, uh, adopting another lifestyle from the West African world, we have been able to get one element or the other. How relevant is the usage of black soap to the treatment of sicknesses and ailments? Yes, it can treat any ailment. In fact, it is even to encourage us to take ocean so that we don't go into you know, taking drug inside. There's no, that is the ocean bar. So we will just prepare and, and pound together to cure malaria. That is ocean oju. We will just get some leaves, pound it, use it to wash your face. It will remove cataract or any kind of thing and make your eyes to see much more clearly. That is also original, even if it is migraine. Just mix some things with this. Wash it with your with your head. Use it to wash your head. It will remove migraine. That is also 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 be ready. So basically, black soap is a blessing from our creator. Absolutely, it's a great one. But why are we not embracing black soap? Not just like let us again another thing. Why are we not embracing that? Okay. Why are we not embracing our own die and die? Why are we not embracing even our native food? No, this is the same question. You can rest get the everything. So it is the same that is happening. It is the 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 the, 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 the problem of a rejection of that which belongs to you and acceptance of that which is important. Our our brain has been so much configured, so configured to think that whatever is ours is evil and whatever is from britain america even asia is a uh, is godly is good so that is how our brain is is conjured or is a uh, configured so it is not you know the same it's happening even sometimes if, i think it's a change now if somebody sees if, if your pastor or your imam sees you sees, sees soap in your house or in your car we will assume we, 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 we think that are, see, no, we are going diabolical exactly. even if you use ordinary beat like this People will say that you are, you are going to hell. But if you use chain, gold, you are going to heaven. If you use soap, black soap, you will go to hell. But if you take any of this uh, soap, all this package soap, you are going to heaven. So can you see that it's a, it's a real, it's a real uh, colonization of the, of, of, the, of the intellect? It is a kind of, uh, I would call it um, bondage, imprisonment of our brain. And, and that is, is, is there difficult. any difference between this black soap and we have one that we call you know we have different creation of black soap in different uh, parts of the west african parts of the world you now we have oshegana if you look at it it will appear like black soap is there any difference probably that, it is me that's seen it to be that, it's a very big, it's a very big difference oshegana is never never it's too synthetic personally look look in the real the way our inter internet works or our destiny, where our, our brain, our destiny, what is good, what is bad. The way this thing works is something like that. It is what is in your own domain that should be the best. That what is, is that, in your own domain? What, what, what belongs to you should never be better than what it can, it can never than what comes from any other place. That is how to live a very happy life. When you appreciate yourself, your belonging, what, what, what is around you, Immediately you look forward to another country, another land, for anything, you will cleverly be enslaved. You will carelessly be enslaved. You wouldn't even know. So it is not imaginable. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know whether, whether I've ever seen it. But it is not possible for Oshay Ghana to be better than Oshay Dudu. It's not possible. It's not possible at all. And the reason is because. We understand the process because you see, whatever belongs to you, you can easily know the process. You see how people do it every year. But the, like, like actually, okay, you see how people do actually, okay. But they bring clothes from from us from abroad. You don't know whether they use human being or human body to wash it. You don't know anything about it. And we are wearing all these things. So, but whatever belongs to us, our what do you do? It is natural. It is not just cocoa powder and PKO, some kind of oil. Oh, 
How can you say, how can we now imagine that that is not the good? That, that, that's not good for now, let, let, let us talk about the natural aspect of this. Now let us take it to beautification, to the skin. How does it work? How, how does it make the, our, our skin to rejuvenate? I don't know. You can look at my skin, please. Just look at my skin. I've never used any soap for the past 10 years. I use only or should you do? So you can use my skin to judge. Just use my skin to judge how good or how bad or should you do it is. You can never imagine it. It is comprehensive, holistic. When you bump it, you will escape all kinds of you know, skin illnesses. Skin related illnesses. You will escape it. Or you will escape them. Can you imagine? But you wouldn't know. Because why? Because Aro is here. Aro is the anti antiseptic okay. that is in Oshesh. That, that is the chemical. What do we call it chemical? We call it Aro, which is that which is able to change something to another thing. That's Aro. And that is Yoga. That, that is able to Aro. It will change. When you see it, it's, so, it's like a, it's like just on water or oh, pop food. So it's 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 a change in color. When you transform, when you, you transform, when you pour, so anything that transforms is arrow. Just like a cloth now. Yes. When you put it, it just bam. Mm. That it can change a specific mm. color to another color that is deeper than the usual. And, and if you conquer that color, to conquer the color, the original color. If you conquer that color, when you wash, wash, wash that color to the cute. Permanently, so arrays antiseptic. Yeah, so can you imagine that? So it is able to even change your skin and make your skin cleaner. I used to be very, very black, like me, like you. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I cannot bleach in my life. You see, I'm looking almost fairer. So my original color, my grand, my father, we are always very fair in our, in our family. So my original color is to come out. So there's no way you can compare. Black soap, or should you do with uh, another soap? It's even very, it will protect you. It's because you cannot, be, you cannot expose your skin to any danger. Unlike the other one that can expose your skin to danger because the chemical is so toxic, so acidic. So it is always good to avoid those kind of soap. This soap is perfect. Be a said, you say why? You are my dress, I are my fresh, and when you're gone to my berry, you quickly lose in low. Tara, you're my jolly gun. My rock about ya or second, I won't you both say, but you're lean low, and won't you quit? I'll be medicated soap. Won't you make you quit or say, be like one. Let the young lad while I watch you bar. Couldn't say you call a low conta. I jabby said, see one. I won't let one will be while I watch you bar. Eri kwe wogbo abule wambi beba debi eba beba don eba awo omo na lati le oko kaluku ni ti wa nse ko so omo so je omo bibibi ti omo npa bu ya tokunrin wa to birin wa ko lati jadi jadi ba mu yan ti an tin wo yi pe ah jadi jadi yi ko lo to ba ro rara abu e yi to ra mi koro meji bi gba se yan fe lo ogun oyin bo to ba so senu to fomi si jadi jadi won ko ja lo ni yo gba gbe lai lai o se ri na she said, No, 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 you know, Baron, you know, 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 Betting Ben or a cat, a look or say no. Or is it easy? Oh, say no, say time long one to banish. Or say you like one of him laughing way. Or say why da? Okay, you pay a man, you pay any tabama bad, it's your figure, get your figure, and what you will ask. Come on, what is more than any come in and not to say to you, you know, you don't know. So, one power saying, say anything, power say, mom, party, like one say, and I mean, number the dear, nobody will. And we will not tell about young women and anything. One lay monk, catching all the children yet of twenty one. Tabacco, my poor by Lassie, by Lassie, by Lassie. Tim Walter, no fee, two feet gooky. Two feet bad you must see.
So one basic lesson we've been able to learn from this edition of African Complementary and Alternative Medicine Africa is that we should embrace that which is our own. Black soap or African black soap or Oshedudu is our home and it is peculiar to the Yoruba race and Yoruba to the world. We are part of the entire African being. So when we embrace what is our own, it will definitely work to our benefit. We appreciate you, Dr. Obafe Mejegede from the Institute of African Studies, University of Uganda. Thank you for being a resource person for us on this program. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Until another time when we'll be coming to you on another edition of African Complementary and Alternative Medicine Africa. I am Uluwa Shewu and do have a pleasant day.